We're here with head football coach Ben McEnroe as he enters his 10th season with the Kingsmen. Coach, you have a lot of new newcomers to the squad this year. Talk a little bit about the team dynamic so far. Well, first off, uh, I think a lot of credit goes to our coaching staff for uh, uh, putting together a roster of this size. Uh, you know, to be able to be over 100 student athletes when we only had 55 returners. Um, it, it speaks a lot to those efforts. So uh, Anthony Lugo, Scott Beatty, uh, Bill Culpepper, I just put in yeoman's work putting together a, a good size roster and then the, the challenge then becomes um, you know how do you how do you build a team you know we've got plenty of talent but how do you make them a football team so uh, so far you know they, they've gotten along pretty well it's uh, it's a fun group a lot of fun to be around this group um, you know it's it's like being around a family you know you've got your ups and downs you take your lumps and um, you figure some things out along the way we've done some work with uh, with the Marine Corps uh, having the Marines part of our team building activities again this year uh, I think that goes a long way and then just some of the some of the goofy things we do as a team uh, you know we did synchronized swimming with volleyball the other day we, you know, we got beat by the girls soccer team in a penalty kick shootout so uh, we're just trying to not only uh, develop trust, develop relationships, develop chemistry, but also get these guys immersed into the athletic department and give them exposure to other teams and other student athletes on campus so that they feel like, uh, you know, they feel like this is home. And uh, that's, that's, that's where we're at right now. And like you mentioned, you've been in training camp for a couple of weeks now, doing a lot of fun things off the field. Uh, what have been your impressions on the field and which players have stood out to you? I, I like the makeup of this team. I, I've told people, you know, I, I think this team's going to be outstanding in 2017. Uh, you look at the, the guys that will be coming back in, in next year, I, I think this is, in 2017, could be one of our best teams, but we're, we're sitting here in 2016. So uh, I think the athletic ability is, is at a high uh, over the last four or five years. I, I don't think we've We've been as skilled in some positions since you know 2010, 2011. So that's uh, that, again, that's a testament to the job the guys did in recruiting. But it's also a testament to what Pat Holmberg does in the weight room with our returners and the, and the buy-in. I think that uh, you know the, the culture really starts with the returning guys and and their their buy-in and our, our core leadership group. So uh, I, I've been impressed with, with the returners and how they've taken on that leadership role. Uh, guys that have stood out on the field early on. Uh, defensively, uh, Dejan Rothschild, just as a, kind of the heart and soul of our defense, uh, really matured a lot, doing a great job uh, taking on that leadership role. Uh, Corey Eddington at linebacker, uh, he might be the best linebacker we've ever had. I mean, thumbs, or hands down, I mean, he's, he's a pretty special athlete. Uh, really like the, uh, the brand new defensive backs, the young kids uh, out of corner. Uh, there's three of them that are that are really playing well on the defensive side. Offensively, uh, Adam has, has done a great job with the leadership. He's uh, really taken taking control, and he's, he's he's very coachable this year, which is uh, great to see. Uh, like the you know I like the, the Diego Hernandez, our tight end. Uh, you know I don't think we we skip a beat with our tight ends. Uh, very similar to what we had last year. Uh, when we had two of the best guys in the country last year, I, I think Diego's as good as those guys, if not better. So uh, that's that's a positive. Our running backs have been a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, I, I didn't think we had the depth that we needed there, but uh, guys like Chris Campbell, Isaac Seymour, really came into camp in great shape, and, and then Chris Beeson's been a great fit there as well. Uh, and then the receiving core is is deep. You know, I'm not sure who the guys are going to be yet, but a very deep position group and, and very impressive. And overall, what are some goals and expectations that you have for the team? You know, we really just have the same goal every year, and that, and that is to, to win the Sky Egg Championship. Uh, we've fallen short the last couple of years. I, I think our seniors are, are hungry to, to get one during their time here. Um, so that's that's really our, our overriding goal, because that opens up everything else. If you, if you win the conference, you get into the playoffs, you get to the playoffs, you get a chance to compete uh, at the next level. So. Uh, that's really our, our goal. Our expectations are just to, to be better uh, than we have been. Uh, you know, and, and we've got to do everything better. We've got to be better in the weight room. We've got to be better in the classroom. We've got to be better on the practice field. And, and those things will carry over into wins and losses. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this season. Thank you.